the idea with this video is to explain the, the types of equilibrium points. Equilibrium points for a system that looks like this, dx dt equal ax plus by and dy dt equal cx plus dy. And we're going to assume that the matrix A of the system, which is the matrix A, B, C, and D, is in vertical. That means that the determinant of A is different from zero. Then, um, in this case, since the determinant of A is different from zero, the only equilibrium point is, is the point zero, zero. Uh, in order to decide what type of equilibrium point we have, we need to compute the trace of A, right? so that we can compute the characteristic equation, which is lambda squared minus the trace of A times lambda plus the determinant of A equals zero. Then, um, according to the solution of this equation, which are called the eigenvalues, then let's suppose that we have two eigenvalues, lambda one, lambda two, then we have the type of equilibrium point. Then for example, if lambda one is different from lambda two and is positive, then we have what is called a source. We say that this equilibrium point is a source. Um, if both of the eigenvalues are negative, let's say lambda one is smaller than lambda two, both eigenvalues are negative, then we have what is called a sink. Uh, if one is positive and the other one is negative, then we, the equilibrium point is called a saddle. If, if the if we have complex roots, complex eigenvalues, let's say that lambda one and two are of the form alpha plus or minus beta i, then we have three possibilities. If alpha is equal to zero, we have what is called a center. If, if alpha is smaller than zero, then we have what is called an spiral sink. And if alpha is bigger than zero, we have an spiral source. Remember that all of these are the possibilities when we have complex eigenvalues. Uh, the other, the only case that is missing is the case when lambda one equal to lambda two. When lambda one equal lambda two, then we have two possibilities. If A is diagonal, if A looks like lambda 1, 0, 0, lambda 1, then we have what is called a proper node. And let me write it here. If lambda 1 is equal to lambda 2, but A is not diagonal, it's not diagonal, then we call this an improper node. Um, usually when lambda one, if these two numbers are negative, then we call this an stable improper node. And we have that if lambda one equal to lambda two and is smaller than zero, we add the word stable. Right? And if lambda one equal lambda two is bigger than zero, we call that an unstable, unstable improper node. Same thing here. If lambda one is equal to lambda two and is bigger than zero, we call that an unstable improper node. And if lambda one equal lambda two is smaller than zero, we call this an unstable proper node. Then we have all these type of equilibrium points. We have the sink, the source, the saddle, one positive and one negative. Complex roots, we have three possibility. We either have a center, a spiral sink, or a spiral source. 
and when lambda one equal to lambda two, we have two cases. If lambda, if the matrix is diagonal, that means if the matrix looks like this, then we have a proper node, and we call that proper node stable. If lambda one is smaller than zero, and we call it unstable. If lambda one equal lambda two is bigger than zero, and when the matrix is not diagonal, then we have that uh, if if lambda one equal lambda two is smaller than zero, it's an stable in proper node. And if lambda one, which is equal to lambda two, is bigger than zero, we call that an unstable in proper node. Then those are all the types of equilibrium points when the determinant of A is different from zero. That means when the matrix is invertible. Okay, this is it.